There is a lot of yellow in that stadium. Can Colombia extend their unbeaten run and top the group, or will Brazil reach the quarters in style? Find out next. Santa Clara, California will host this marquee matchup in Group D as Brazil meets Colombia. Alongside Kobe Jones, I'm JP Della Carmel. Let's look at the starting 11s and we start with Brazil. Uh, with Brazil, they're going to be going in this 4-3-3 formation, a little bit off balance from good shift into a 4-2-3-1. But you see Marquinhos, Militao, a lot of experience in the middle. Paqueta, a player that we have been talking a lot about within this tournament and his abilities on the field. It really comes down to it up top. The three, the three amigos up there, Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, and Rufinha, so dangerous in the attack, puts all defenses on their heels. And then for Colombia, expect them in that 4-2-3-1 formation, but a little bit of shifting going on. Look at the back, Sanchez had a goal against Costa Rica, so expect him on the defensive side, but also can help in the attack. And then you have Burma and Rios, they're holding in that middle of the field where they'll be trying to break everything up that Brazil tries to throw at them. And then, of course, Luis Diaz, the Liverpool striker, the main man for them, and Hamas Rodriguez. And they will be trying to defeat, to defeat this man, Cordoba, up top. Colombia are already through to the knockout stage. Who's going to win the group, though, and avoid playing against Uruguay? No disrespect to Panama. They've done well in this tournament, but you'd rather face Panama than Uruguay. Yeah, and that's why this game is so important. For Brazil, they want to win this game and get that number one spot and push Colombia down to number two. That's what they need to do in order to be in that number one position. They need to get a win. Pretty much a formality, though, with the rest of the group. Costa Rica's numbers don't add up, so everyone is expecting Brazil to advance. They just haven't done that yet. It is Colombia in the black and orange, Brazil in the yellow and blue. And after that countdown, we are ready to go. The referee, Jesus Valenzuela, from Venezuela, we are underway. Colombia have been better than Brazil over the two games. Brazil a bit inconsistent. They break it on the right side. Rafinha in the middle of the flex. And it's all Pablo. Just about to say it was grabbed by Vargas, and it almost wasn't. Dorival Jr. hasn't lost in six games. His counterpart hasn't lost either, but in 22 games. So something could end tonight, because we've got a player down from Brazil. Well, this is just Rafinha coming in, gets a toe poke in there before the swing at the ball from Machado. Takes a little bit of a rough hit there to start off the match. Rafinha's the one change in the 11 from the last game. He replaced Savio. There is the opposite coach, Nestor Lorenzo. 17 wins, 5 draws, not a single loss since he's taken over. Not a single loss. He's got this team playing the right way. On the defensive side through the midfield, they're doing everything correctly. Off a block off his line, Allison with a long toss to the left. Wendell carries it. Pressure on the ball from Colombia, they take it away. No foul, it's played in the middle. Yes, there was a foul. It was called free kick coming up for Brazil. This is Mrs. Jr. trying to just hold up the ball. That's a little bit of a kick from behind. It's a fair call from the referee. It's a sea of yellow in the stadium. Both teams are known for their yellow colors, but when they introduced the starting lineups, it sounded very much pro Colombia. Played wide by Gomez. On that far sideline, battle for the ball. Benny Jr. knocked away. Coming off a two-goal performance, the last game against Paraguay. Brazil settles it. Near the circle. And there Militao for the Captain Danilo. Right sideline. Brazil. On the attack. Rodrigo. Went down. 
Burnick fouls might tell us how this game is going to go. Yeah, I don't think there's any love loss between these two sides. So you can expect early on there's going to be a, a testing to see. Look, if both teams have the skills. It's going to see who can be tough, who can hold on to the ball under you know, stressful situations. A little bit of kicking, a little bit of fouls. Rafinha, 1v2. Machado, and he had some help there. It's not down. Throw in Brazil, and that's going to be the matchup. Rafinha just coming back in. Machado coming, getting the start. For Colombia, so those two, that's the really interesting matchup to watch. Tap back on the left side, into the box, it's loose, play back to goal, that was risky. Brazil almost took it away. Colombia hurting themselves with some of these plays in their own end. Rafinha, and one in front, block, picked up. The flex out, just outside the box. Held up in the right. Rafinha. Take it away. That was Hannes Rodriguez doing the defensive work. That's not exactly what he's most known for. Yeah, but this is what Messer Lorenzo, the coach of Colombia, has brought into this side. That a player like Hannes Rodriguez, a star, a superstar within this game, is willing to do the dirty work and track back in a big matchup like this. Vargas, 26th cap for him, sends it long. He's Diaz Alvarez being one of the targets. Out wide. Machado making his Copa America debut. Diaz leaves it. Machado. 26 with the black and orange of Colombia. And that's how you want to see how Machado does. You know, Copa America start going against Rafinha. Here's Diaz. Final there on Brazil. Free kick coming up. And it's Colombia with Rodriguez, their captain on the ball. Plays it short. All the way across to the right side. Defending, then the push there, foul on John Cordova. A lot of free kicks in the early going. Live standings have Colombia on top, Brazil in second place. Costa Rica, it's been a struggle for them and Paraguay in this Copa America tournament. Over 65,000 on hand, loud and strong. Danilo, upfield. It's another one, but that's not called. Basta. Machado, into the middle. Machado's pass, right side. Laid off by Hurtado. And that far away, Munoz drops it back. Rodriguez went down, gets the call, and a card. So the little touch here, and then Vinicius Jr. just gets that arm up a little bit too high, just comes up. It's the side of the face, like around the ear, but a little bit, a little bit more coming from Ross Rodriguez, but it does pull the yellow. And that's bad news for Vinny Jr. Yes. He's already in a yellow card. And that would carry over. So he would miss the next game. Unfortunate for him. Unfortunate for Brazil. And he knows now, before seven minutes ago, that he's out for the next game in the knockout. That's got to be so frustrating. Yeah, had a little idea there that Odebal Jr. not happy about that. He he definitely knows what that means. Has to put it out of his mind though. We start for Colombia. We've got Rodriguez as a possible option and probably the most likely one. 
24, maybe 25 yards away. Munoz and Rodriguez. Rodriguez! Oh. Close. Very close. Rodriguez. Uh, it's a little bit of a fake. I don't think anyone really fell for it, and Hamas Rodriguez just comes up. This gives us the best look. You can just see the blast there. I'm not so sure about that wall either. He kind of broke up very easily. And Hamas Rodriguez gets underneath and tries to get that ball to dip. As you can see, it's moving pretty good. He's playing in his fourth Copa America tournament. Costa Rica leading Paraguay 2-0. Where did that offense come from? We didn't see it in the first two games. Well, it seems like Rice just went down. We have to go back to the Costa Rica wants to make this interesting. Vinny Jr. Goes past his man. Columbia catching up. Vinny Jr. across. That's cleared by Cuesta. Up the middle. Blocked. And clear by Columbia. There's some serious holding going on over there. As that whistle has, I thought, sounded. Apparently not. He's waving it off. Danilo. Gotta get back. Danilo toward the box. Plays it across. That had too much power on that cross. Paqueta after it. A goal and an assist last game. So trying to get numbers in the box. It's clear away by Sanchez and out for the throw in for Brazil. Good start, Toby. First 10 minutes, almost 10. A very good start. Up and down for both sides. Both teams willing to commit to the attack. And that's any fan watching this, that's what you want to see. I don't think the, uh, the Colombian fans here are going to let their team sit back as they have been very vocal. All the way on that right side, Rafinha, 1v1, on the cut, into the middle, shot taken, wide after the save was made by Vargas, corner Brazil. Rafinha does a good job of just bringing this ball back, keeping possession, and just finding Rafinha just right at the top. Of the 18 table. It was a little bit of an off speed shot there, but still forces the save from Vargas. The corner from the far side of the stadium taken by Rafinha. Drives it on a bounce. It's out of the box. Another foul. Another free kick. In a pretty good spot for Brazil. As the final count adds up. Coming out. Yeah, it's just a clip. We're going to go there from Mr. Rodriguez. And, you know, he's got to be careful because you already saw what he got to do with the coach of Brazil. Trying to count on his fingers. One, two, three. Trying to send a message to the referee. Six fouls. Feels like more. Both teams have serious weapons on free kicks. Rafinha is over the ball. Twenty-six yards away as the wall is set up. Rafinha is ready. He'll take it. Rafinha. Yeah. Rafinha comes into this match, gets the start on the day, and this is part of the reason why he's in there. Free kick specialist. This is almost like the perfect set piece. It is a, a thing of beauty to watch. This strike over the wall as the wall jumps. 
but still, of the power and the pace, Burgess gets a hand on it, but can't keep it out of the back of the net. He's fully stretched. That's a beautiful goal all the way around, JP. He's a beauty. It's his first goal of uh, the 2024 Copa America, and it gives Brazil the lead. Free kick goal coming in the 12th minute. A man who, whose place was taken over by Xavier Velasque gets his place back this evening, gets the goal. Well done by Rafinha. You think how close this game is, right? Hannes Rodriguez hits the post of a free kick. Could have been one up in the other way. Now this game is going back and forth. The opportunities <laughs> all the way around. And you said it right before that both sides had some talent on set pieces. And that's why it's so dangerous for these defenders. You don't want to give up you know, three kicks around that 18 because a play like that where Rubinho puts it in the back of the net, picks out a corner. Very easy for both sides to do. That one towards Diaz. Knocked away. Going for Colombia, Luis Diaz will take it. He scored five goals in this Copa America tournament, Colombia, by five different players. Machado, the cross is low, and dealt with cleared out by Brazil. Rodriguez, with that throw in. Columbia settling, Rios, going back the other way, Cuesta, Rios, into the middle, Rios, Sanchez, Columbia slowing the pace down a little bit, trying to find a scene as Brazil right now is organized pretty well defensively. The long ball will work. Colombian fans wanted a call as it's cleared away. Oh, it's the top. Five players in that corner. And then a push as that ball goes out. Rule the foul on Colombia. And you see Brazil defensively, they drop it into the two blocks right on top of the 18 and then you have the other two kind of like two strikers they're in searching so they're just really clogging up the middle making it difficult and here's another look at that set piece from Rafinha got that left side in the box wow it was there first direct free kick goal of this tournament which is a surprise to me with all those who are seeing I thought we might have had one by now. Yeah, you would think so. You think, I, I like this little play from Hannes Rodriguez, how he tried to just take this in the air first time. Just can't get around it. He gets, actually gets underneath it. But just thinking quick, first thought, direct to goal. Up here. Rodrigo lost it there. Gomez passed him in the middle. Give on ice over the top. Benny Jr.'s on the run. He's got company. Munoz. They both go for the ball. And the whistle stopped playing. So a foul is coming up on Munoz. He's protesting it. This would be highly contested if it was just a friendly, right? But it's for first place in Group D. And whoever wins it will not have to face Uruguay in the quarterfinals. That's big. No, that's huge. I mean, look, much respect, you know, yeah. to every team in this tournament, but you'd much rather be in a situation where you're not facing Uruguay the way that they are playing right now. Getting out of the middle, that's good out. He's been taking all of the set pieces. All the way back for it. Randall plays it for Alisson. Liverpool is slowly no keepers. It's 2018. Got a great run there. Alisson. 
that's out intended for Rafinha on that sideline. And trying to have the throw in for Colombia. They breeze through their first two games, convincing wins. Brazil struggled in that scoreless throw in game one with Costa Rica. So over the two games, Colombia's been the better side, but it's all up, up to this game to see who's going in the group. Okay, this is the decider. Brazil has to win the game. They win first in the group. Two players holding on to one another. Foul on Brazil. Free kick. Colombia. And you know what? When it comes down to who's going to be first in the group, it should come down to this matchup. This is this is what you want to see. You want to see Brazil versus Colombia. Two powerhouses going at it. This is the game you and I looked at when we saw our schedule. <laughs> this one here, we had to wait until the last day of the group. Indeed. But we knew it would be worth it. That Rodriguez back there. Everyone's expecting Hamed as he drives it. Hamed! Oh! But the flag's up. Flag's up. And I think some of the fans haven't realized it yet. Well, let's take a look as this ball comes in. It's Paul that got to it. Nope. But he's great. Now Sanchez. Once again. Yeah. Now it's very close because there's a Brazilian player nearest to us that's going to have to be looked at to see if he keeps him in an outside position. Yeah, we'll check it. He's holding that play. Nice goal. It would be our second goal off of the set piece if it counts. Anxious moments here in the early stages in Santa Clara. <laughs> Vinny Jr. already had a yellow card. That means he's out for the knockout game regardless of who they face. Could be Uruguay, could be Panama. They continue to check this. See Dumarais at that back post. That's going to be the player to see if he keeps him in an onside position. Let's bring in our rules analyst, Dr. Joe Bactic, to see what he saw, Dr. Joe. As you know, every goal is checked, and we got two players that seemingly are in an offside position, one more than the other. The goal scorer, if he's offside, it's barely. I think that the goal will be disallowed for offside. Uh, but you have to remember, they don't have semi-automatic offside technology at this tournament, so that's why it's taking so long. If we had that technology, we would, in, we would instantly know at the moment the ball is dropped if the player was in an offside position. Even with that technology, there are 10 extra cameras, so you get a proper look. We didn't have that last night in the USA game. They don't have it here today. So it's really subjective as to what angle they look at, what camera angle, and how they draw the line. Well, thank you, Dr. Joe. Kobe, they're still looking at it, so that's how close it must be. And that just tells me it's, it, it's and we always say this, clear and obvious, you know, for those various things. But I think one thing that Dr. Joe kind of hints at there, it, it's subjective to a degree because you have a human being looking at it and making the determination yeah. from, the, from the different angles and how they see it. It could be totally different than how you see it and I see it. 20 second minute. Well, he's pointing at the goalkeeper. Allison, I believe, to put the ball back in play so it is disallowed. Did not hear an announcement like we heard in the other game, or games, but it was offside, and so it's one nothing Brazil. But I'll tell you this, shot across the bow for Brazil, and how dangerous that Colombia is on set pieces. That's twice that they almost got on the board. We know it's well the throwing at the far side. Tempo's been great. Munoz will have this throw in. A 
Bill, Mr. Toya. Here they break. Columbia on the attack with Diaz. Try to finesse that way through. Too fancy. Picked up. And held on to there. Arias. Rodriguez. So capable. Not just of scoring, but delivering on those crosses. Of the balls that we have seen, how much Rodriguez put in. Even that last one is just a quick little trap, one step, and it's putting in a beautiful, dangerous cross. First corner, Columbia. For grabs, second ball, cleared by Brazil. Looking to break, but they can't. Sanchez left it, pushed wide. Columbia still way at left side. Diaz in the middle. Block. Headed away by Brazil. Desperate defending inside the box. As Columbia was all over it. Munoz. Off the block. Brazil going to be the center left. Wendell. That's blocked. Tap back towards goal. Marquinhos for Brazil. And this is what Brazil taking a little bit of a breather. Off of that pressure from his right side. Rafinha. Player down for Brazil. Right in front of the bench area. As he sees Fallon's way that comes over. And a card. Second one. Tommy and Ole already through to the quarterfinals. Brazil are almost there. Not quite. But when they finish first. Or when they finish second. There's a little... A little look, it's, it's, once again, Rafinha's on the ball, he gets rid of it, and he really, Machado just comes in late. Just has a little bit of a clip. You get the feeling that the referee is understanding the intensity of this game, is starting to ratchet up a little bit, so he's trying to keep it under control. One yellow card apiece now, Brazil up on the scoreboard, and a Rafinha goal in the 12th minute. From distance, Brazil will fire that one wide. Well done by Rafinha. It was a difficult ball to bring down at that pace. Cutting inside. The Gomez pass. Block. Danilo trying to force it through. And that's knocked out. Columbia will have to throw it. Try to in quickly. Pressure on the ball, Machado taken out. And now the players get a little bit close, too close. Well, you don't like to see this, obviously. Some spirited play right there after that last foul, but everybody got involved. This is, this is where, you know, the referees really got to take control, like I said. Spirits are high, the intensity is getting high. You saw some of the players, you know, jumping up off of the bench and stepping onto the field. Now, regardless if that is seen right now, there's going to be some actions later on. We'll have to sort things out. He's just flashing cards. So we'll confirm numbers before we think that somebody might be out of this game even. So here's Machado. One just comes in late. And that, okay, that's a, that's a regular foul. But then the kick afterwards, I think, is where everyone takes an exception. Gomez comes in. He's the one that really kind of instigates that whole confrontation right in front of the Brazilian bench. Rosal Antillanos. The forces free kick from Machado. Played long, and that was denied from Tennis for Cordoba. Munoz is after it. Bumped by Paqueta. And the physical play continues in Santa Clara. Columbia gets called for that foul. There are now 
announcing the yellow cards, Lama was one. Hard to say who was getting them when the referee's pointing in a crowd, but Lama's one of them. Ball played back into the box and rolled ahead by Vargas. Rios pass. Part of a right side, 1v1. One one. Brazil will win that one defensively. Play back toward goal. It's deflected. Rodriguez will have a throw in. He gets it in quickly. And Munoz on that side. Hamas trying to drive it across. It almost got through. Marquinhos cutting it back. Colombia is back to the ball. Tap back. Diaz, 23 yards out, swings it wide, Machado, there's Diaz, so good at the ball, technically, play back by Machado, Fuentes, Lema, Machado, Luis Diaz almost got through, but he's taken out, Danilo is saying, no yellow for me, Got up to him to see what the referee's gonna do. Let's see, it's a little bit of a dance here, and yet Danilo just keeps that leg out. He's got the card out and makes the contact. You see, this is a little bit of the action from before. Mamba picks up his yellow card. He's still trying to catch up with all the yellow cards that we've given. I think Danilo's. Very fortunate that he didn't pick up anything off of that play. Off that free kick, headed poorly in the middle, fired back in, nothing on it. Easy play for Allison. Thirtieth minute. I know we've only had one goal, but several cards, several fouls, and some intense play. Yeah, a lot of action <laughs> happening within this match. That's that's to be expected. With these, with these two sides. They know each other so well, playing against each other so many times. Sal Gomez was the other player who picked the yellow card in that earlier skirmish. And Colombia, their players showing some frustration towards the referee at some of these calls. A little bit, has some contact. I think on that one, just do some maybe a foul, that's about it. But a junior drives it across, it is settled there, and then give it away. Rodriguez down to it. Diaz, can he get by? Terrific job defending the damn many time. And that's blocked out of play. Tell you, what about the ground covered by the Real Madrid man moved out? That was exceptional there. You would have thought that Diaz was going to do it on the end of that ball. Diaz looks dangerous, but so far they've not been able to isolate him, except in that particular case, for most of this first half hour plus. Set long by Gimenez. All the way back to goal. Up there by Colombia. Brazil with a one to nothing lead over Colombia. Colombia had a goal, but it was disallowed because of the outside. Your 24 action coming up tomorrow. Quarterfinals, Germany, Spain, and then Mbappe versus Cristiano Ronaldo. Join us for the coverage on Fox. This is the bar call. As you said, JP, the Columbia scores off of the set piece, but flag went up, bar agreed with it. Real sends it all the way back. Sanchez up the middle. Rios. Moving it towards the middle. 
Yes, plays for Palmeiras in Brazil. The main uh, son of the Brazilians. Good work by Colombia just drawing in two to three. And the Brazilian players were just switching the point of attack very quickly. One from Sanchez. Machado. He got rocked after he tried to cross that ball. Off the Rodriguez throw in. Back for Lerma, who also misses the next game. They already had a yellow before. That's an easy one to call. The yellow didn't think it was that easy to call, but from up here, yeah, that's a foul. Yeah, pretty simple to call. The actuality is the middle just came in from behind and had the bit of a shove. He's going to have to be careful because he has to be on the referee's mind now as he had the, the tackle earlier on and then a minute or two later has that push. Thomas Rodriguez, Colombia's captain, is ready. Goes near post. He almost scored from that angle. Everyone thought he's going to cross it, but he didn't. Well, I'll tell you as well, Alisson thought he was going to cross it. Because look how far out Alisson is, and then all of a sudden, the shot comes from Ramos Rodriguez. Has it on target, and of course, it's the save from Alisson. And the hottest corner in the middle, Alisson. Got a piece. Rios fires to put it away. Corner, Colombia. Knocking on the door. Knocking consistently. I mean, in, in every one of these set pieces, the quality of service has been fantastic. And that's, that's what makes set pieces so dangerous. You have to have the quality, you have to have the taker, being of a certain skill set, and Thomas Rodriguez has it. He's put in some great balls. Rodriguez, in that corner, ready to deliver. In swing, look at it. Had it up and over. The bend on that ball from that corner is spectacular. There's a good look at it when you can see the offside line is. It was close and it took a while to look at it. And it was ruled no goal for Sanchez. Whoever wins this group takes on Panama Saturday. We'll have that for you on FS1. Second place team is going to be unfortunate if they have to play against Uruguay. That doesn't mean they can't beat them because you're talking about Brazil or Colombia. But Uruguay has looked fantastic so far in this tournament. Quick forward. Too heavy on that touch. Back to goal. Quick stop. Sanchez. Brazil pressing. They won it and then gave it away. Quick stop. Vargas. Sanchez. As we go for Rios and then back to go again. Colombia seem very comfortable building out of the back any type of pressure. Brazil has brought. It's been pretty easy for Colombia to break it down and get and do what they want to with the ball and move forward. Machado, left side. Rodriguez, back to Machado. Pressed by Rafinha. Rios turning away from the pressure. Sanchez. Teams number one and two in terms of possession, both well over 60%. Colombia is number one, Brazil is number two. Cuesta. Machado. Diego Machado forced back by Rafinha. Rafinha with the game's only goal, and now he's got the foul. Free kick Colombia. Rios. 
Sanchez. Munoz winding it upfield. Now they find it. Numbers four for Colombia, but Brazil have settled back. Rios looking for a better angle. Better option. Wasn't there. Rodrigo's pass to the left. Upfield comes Brazil down the middle. Vinny Jr. Nice play by Sanchez to break it up. Vinny Jr. has been operating a lot of the wing in this tournament. That time right down the middle. Yeah, Vinny Jr. He's, he's trying to pick his moment. That's why you haven't seen a whole lot of him. He's not pushing out to the really staying central. What he wants to do is to get that 1v1 matchup and solely work off his speed to try to see if he can beat that back line. He's almost had that on a couple of occasions. Cuesta, Sanchez for Colombia. 39th minute. Brazil leading by a single goal. They win this game. They win the group. Back to Alisson. Nice calm pass. Guimarães moving it ahead. There's a lot of space for Brazil on the right because when Brazil is building out of the back, they're actually building out with three, and Danilo is pushing up into the midfield, almost into the front line sometimes. Martina into the middle. The bonus pass. Guimarães got it up wide. That's one of the left back high up field. Vinny Jr. can't get through. No foul given. Trying to slip it through. He's got Rigo making a run. Part of it from Colombia. Lost it out, but it's Troen from Colombia. Marquinhos is playing so well defensively against Cordoba. If you notice, he's not right up on him and trying to challenge every time. He knows that Cordoba will try to use in his momentum and his body to turn him. So he's always staying like about a yard or two off. And as soon as that turn comes in, that's where Marquinhos steps in and tries to make the tackle. Brazil will cover this ball for Danilo. Tap back to go forward down the line for Rafinha. That was over him. Cuesta cuts it off. Vargas. Cuesta. 41st minute. Brazil for the one club in lead on a Rafinha goal. All the way back to the 12th minute. Costa Rica up in their game still over Paraguay. By a 2 nothing score. Good team finishing tonight. And it's all about the knockout stage. Diaz lost his footing. Claims it was a foul. It's coming back the other way. Vinny Jr. One against two. He draws the foul. Free kick coming for the Brazilians. And you can kind of see that this one was coming. Munoz just came up. He came in aggressively from behind and just clips Vinny Jr. So, looking at this free kick from long distance. Back at top. Give him some support, but it'll be played all the way back. Danilo, number two for Brazil. Rafinha, pressure. Gomez. Rodrigo, try to win it back. Ball stayed in play. Danilo, over these teams so calm in the ball. The hammer of the tie. Ball played ahead. Brazil on the turn. They've got numbers. Wide left sideline. Vinny Jr. on the move. Into the box. He goes down. Referee's not calling it as a penalty. Is Vinny Jr. going? I don't think he gets the ball on that one. To look at a different angle. <laughs> he wants it to be seen by VAR, and of course, they'll take a look at it. 
And we saw already Munoz come in very aggressively on Vinny Jr. once. And on that one, there's another aggressive tackle. Anytime that you go to ground as a defender inside the box, that's an aggressive tackle because you have to make sure that you get 100% right. You can put your team in a sore spot and pick up a penalty. Big risk when you do this in the box. And it comes a stretch. Yeah, that's, that's, a, penalty. that's a penalty. Yeah, there's the contact. That's a penalty. Zillow were awarded two in the last game against Paraguay. Pocket Top missed of the first one. Scored later when he got another opportunity. But right now, play is stopped while they review whether or not that was a penalty. On the field, it was not called. He did not point to the spot. Instead, he pointed towards the corner. When you see the contact, you see that the foot does not touch the ball. I mean, the, only, the only other thing I could possibly imagine, JP, is that maybe they're thinking that uh, Vinicius would get too easy. Let's bring in Dr. Joe Macknick, our rules analyst. What are we thinking, Dr. Joe? It's a question of whether the defender touched the ball. In some of the replays that I've seen, that the ref I think the referee has not made a clear and obvious error. Uh, here and that the corner kick is now being awarded because the defender does get a touch of the ball. You can see the change with the spin on the ball when he makes that contact. Thank you, Dr. Jones. A corner for Brazil in the final minute. There'll be some stoppage time out and on. Driven in. That's cleared out by Colombia. They try to break. And on that contact, Colombia still have a player down. As play does continue. And now we start with some medical attention. The quarterfinals are starting. Fourth of July, Argentina versus Ecuador. How about that? Here's another look. Well, this is from earlier, earlier on in the match. That set piece from Carlos Rodriguez where we thought it was a goal. The ball came in and overturned it. Hey, let's get back to the Argentina game. Ecuador showed us some good things against Mexico as he watched us again, but Leo Messi, what's his update? We're told he trained today in Houston, but his status still unknown. Well, we've always heard, you know, just throughout his, I guess this last year, and the club time that he has had some, you know, some issues with the legs and everything, but I think he had muscle yeah. injuries, but I think you know, this is a big tournament for him. You know, this, this is you know, the Copa America. So I think he's going to do whatever's necessary to get back out there on the bench. And the final is in Miami, which is now his home with Inter Miami of Major League Soccer. It's, you know, Ivan Ice, who's down, being treated. And he's walking off. Our guys in the studio will analyze all of this. Rob Stone, Juan Pablo Angel Moradillo, Alexi Lavas. Talking about this game. Argentina maybe a Messi and maybe a little recap. Possibly from yesterday. People are still talking about the USA and their loss and their elimination in this tournament. Also joining Mexico in that category. Canada and Panama on the bench. Taking away. Diaz said. That was their best chance because it didn't look like Allison was ready, but he was. What an opportunity for Colombia. That's got to be in the back of the net. Javes with the pass. Put him on. The flex. Allison came out late. Go! Go! Colombia! 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 <laughs> well, the stadium is going crazy as they should. Now, watch as this play develops. The ball coming in here. Excellent play by Cordova to be able to make that turn and play. Munoz in. He's in an onside position here. And Cordova does so good to draw in three Brazilian defenders. Plays it out wide to Munoz. Yeah. Streaking in off of the flank, off of the wing. Allison has to come out. 
can't get there in time, and Munoz slots this one home. First time into that near post, tying this game up one to one. That deflection changed everything in terms of Allison's reaction to it, right? I thought maybe he hesitated or came on late, but that deflection changed everything. You have the deflection, it changes the direction of the ball a little bit, slows it down a little bit, keeps it out of Allison's reach. Remember, they're still checking this though. Imagine if they take a second one away from Colombian fans who are still celebrating. Well, I'll tell you, Mars had an impact in this game so far. Thomas Rodriguez, every time he took a free kick, motion of the crowd to get excited. They were already there, Hamas. Referee blows the whistle, we know that's a big goal. Here we are. 1-1, one, one, 45 plus 2. Munoz with a goal. A huge one right before the stroke of halftime. No better time to score as you're, you're down a goal and then the get a goal just in the extra time right before half. A little bit of a backbreaker for Brazil. Just a, an uplift for this Colombian side. Because I think they've really got a whole crowd going now and everyone supporting. And then out by Metris. And coming up, another look from VAR. And they see clearly that Munoz in an onside position. A little deflection, too. I think he just holds it up enough, maybe a little bit of a spin towards Munoz to allow him to slot that one home. A field. Columbia on the break, three against three, but it was blocked. And they all can turn it over, get some help. Give on his pass. Puck and down. Two point. Nearly through with five minutes of stoppage time. The building was rocking at the start. It's louder now. Columbia, with a live standings, is back in first place. And briefly in second. Long. And now it flex out. It's been a very physical, challenging first half. Great excitement. A lot of fouls, a lot of yellow cards. Goals that were taken away and two goals that counted. Spectacular tonight. A little bit of everything, JP. You've got your punch of the and we have another half to go. Let the excitement continue. Pass. That's blocked. Into the middle. That's going to do it. What a first half this has been. Rafinha scoring in the 12th minute. The seventh international goal gave Brazil the lead, but then 45 plus 2, Munoz gets the equalizing goal. So it's now 1 1. Machado was on a yellow card. That might have been one of the factors there. He has started in the last game, so not a big surprise, he's in. Underway here in the second half, Brazil in the yellow and blue, and the black and orange, Colombia. He tied it at one in stoppage time. Thomas, three players converged on him when he touched the ball. Well, if you're Brazil, that's one player you want to keep off the ball as much as possible, and that's Thomas Rodriguez. The number 10 for Columbia. It's a kind of drift, plays a float, and tries to just accessibility little pockets between the lines of defense. And just the seventh count. Forced down. And the second half starts. The way the first half did with the foul line. Momentum certainly on Columbia's side, getting that goal in the stoppage time to tie it at one. They also had a goal disallowed. It was scored by Sanchez, ruled offside. Here is Sanchez. Short ball. Hamas into the middle. Sanchez. And Cuesta open, but goes the other way instead. 
Battle for the ball. Won by Gomez, torn in. Knocked out by Columbia, torn from Brazil. Gomez is back for it. Pushed all the way back, give him a ball, but Allison took care of it. Daniel to the right, going long. By Cuesta, headed forward. And then, back away from Rodrigo. A little bit of that high press coming from Colombia to start the half. It's so great. Not trying to build out of the back all the time, so it's just not the long. Colombia towards the middle. Now the push to Munoz is going tight it at one. Hines. Right side, driven in. Headed straight up by Brazil. Hines goes for it, but a piece got all. Tries to track it down and slip through the legs. And Colombia recovers. Shot wide on that far side, Diaz. Lever. Sanchez. Knocked away. Taking away from Cordova. Brazil, long distance strike up the middle. They've got numbers now. Vinny Jr., left side line. Into the box. Vinny Jr., end line. Lost it there. Well defended by Colombia. A fantastic work from Munoz to just help track back and double up on the decision to do. Thomas, nice cut back. Puts it right on a platter. Put him up. Just cut off there. That goes against Colombia, it looks like. How good is Martinez? He's absolutely fantastic. Just reads this so well. He just steps in front, gets himself between the ball and the man, and then takes the foul from behind. His timing is excellent to step in and just once again have a great defensive play. And just joining us, Colombia advances to the knockout stage. They did it after two games. Brazil not there yet, but this is about first place in the group, and Brazil has to win the game to get the top spot. A draw. Keeps Colombia in first. Here's Hannes. Every ball, every touch has been good. Far side, Diaz. And that's well wide of everyone. Somehow it's kept in play though. Barrios, good job. And that's the puck that out. Corner, Colombia. Therefore, it's great individual work by Rios. He's such a talented player. But he has the number six, almost plays like a, a more of an eight where he gets up and down. So technically savvy in that midfield. He's one of those players that allows Colombia to keep that possession as much as they do. Rodriguez drives in, head it over. What a delivery. Cordova trying to finish that one off. And give Colombia the lead. Once again, set piece, great ball, exactly where you want to place it, you know, right at the six. It freezes Addison on the line before everybody goes up, but just can't redirect it down. But how dangerous yeah. that Colombia did on every set piece. Colombia might have been harmed by his own teammate, too close to him. All the way up field at the other end. That's going into the seats. Goal kick for Colombia. Marcus to put it back into play. His team is Atlas. He's playing in his third Copa America tournament. Costa Rica still leading in that game, but Paraguay has got one. Got one back. Tough couple for both of those teams. First wide, right side. Hamas was taken out. Brazil will have a throw in. Hamas is 
Terry is still having some words with the assistant referee over there. Michael's pass is short. Switch by Gimenez. Danilo taps it ahead. Brazil's trying to break up the middle. Now they'll push it wide. Vinny Jr. puts that ball nicely ahead. On the cut, Rodrigo. Into the middle. Give it ice to the right. Brazil have numbers. Nice ball right. Driven across. Corner. Brazil. Their third. And it's surprising to say this, but one of the better combinations that we've seen from Brazil is just moving the ball from one side of the field to the other. And once again, Danilo coming in late at, at that attacking right back position, but the cross gets blocked. You know, JP, since Brazil scored this goal, Colombia has had the better of the play within this match. Andreas, Baena, top side, Colum. Belgian board switch to Brazil in 25th game. Drives it, tap back, it's still loose. That's blocked. Right up the middle it comes. The team goes down to the winning. Play back by Wendell, Alisa. Marquinhos. Back to the keeper. has the edge in the shots in this game. And also the shots on target, but it's loving on the board. What a piece. The result will put Colombia as group winners. They will take on Panama on the knockout stage, and Brazil will have to take on Uruguay in another huge game. Whoever comes out of this, imagine having a face off against Uruguay. Yeah, there's going to be a some depleted players after this match. And then you have Uruguay next. Yeah. Rios has it knocked away. Pereira is coming back. Let's just say, whoever does have that matchup, not an easy path. Rios looking, leaving it. Tap it away. Oh, that was a bit lax there. Allowing Brazil to break, and then they rushed it. Referee's playing advantage. Getting Junior. Into the box, squared it. Vinny Jr. is asking for it, got it, the cut. Vinny Jr. 1v1. Had a good ball. Trying to recover, tapped it back. Flight wasn't up for the foul on Vinny Jr. And ball, perhaps. Let's take a look as the ball goes up. Jr. just yes on that right hand, there's the handball. I tell you, we haven't seen a whole lot of Vinicius Jr. At, at moments, not like in the previous match, and that's what needs to happen for Brazil. Did the yellow card affect him? Possibly. I think that may have affected him just like early on. And something like that could take you out of the game, knowing that you're not going to be in the next match in such a big tournament. But he's got to switch and just think, hey, this is it. He's got to help his team, you know, get into a good position for that next match. game, that was good in play, they won't have any trigger. Allison holds it. While the draw gets Brazil through, they will be finishing second place, thus having a play versus Uruguay in the quarterfinals. Look for the build out on Brazil, the right side is where a lot of that space is going to be. Middle of the field, Rios trying to get it. Murphy's got a foul, but he spotted. And he wants a word or two. He's chatting with Rodrigo. Well, off of this play, the ice goes down. And then you see Rios kind of step in over it. And I think the foul is going to be the ice kind of like covering up the ball. But it's Rodrigo who is being spoken to. Rodrigo's had a quiet tournament. We remember the first game, six shots, none on target. Wasn't involved really in the scoring in the second game. And in this game, 
not that many touches. Yeah, another player that needs to get involved a bit more. We'll give a lot of credit to the back line of Columbia. They're doing an excellent job of shutting down the threats that Brazil has. Rafinha, yes, she showed up off of the set piece. But outside of that, we haven't seen a whole lot of you know, the three top players for Brazil. Rafinha left it off. Back towards him. Rafinha to the middle. Still in it. Hard pass, but it's received. In the yellow and blue, it's Brazil leading it. Taiba back is steadily behind. Picked up by Pereira. Utilized passing it right side. Taken away Corra, by Colombia. Corra, Corra. They try to break. Oh, that's a late whistle. I'm not saying it wasn't a foul, but that's a couple seconds late. A very late whistle. Rodriguez cut in, he's trying to set this up. Let's see if there's one clip. Yeah, there's a little bit of a clip. I think Rodriguez makes a little bit more of it than it actually was. The, the Colombian player's not happy about that. Probably more so not happy about the late whistle than anything else. They had the ball, they were looking to break. Yeah, it was, it was going to be a, a fast kick, you know, quick counter. But let's get back to where this is. We had mentioned about not committing fouls right outside the 18. We saw Rafinha step up once with a blinder. We'll see who steps up on this one. I mean, you have to think you're going to have, have a second go. Yeah. It is Rafinha, also Rodrigo. Goalkeeper Vargas yelling at Javis Rodriguez to position him and his teammates on this free kick from about 23 yards away. Rodrigo is now the deeper of the players. It's for Rafinha, a shot wide of a diving goalkeeper. And a little bit of a fake. Oh, that was not far off. Just outside that post. He doesn't get enough bend on it. Just pushes it beyond the far post. And that's always so difficult for a keeper. You have to think that Vargas is thinking, is he going the same direction where he already scored? Almost gives a little bit of a hesitation. Mind games, right? Mind, it's all mind games. One of one, one battles all over the field. Almost at the hour mark, your own quarterfinal starting fight in Fox, Germany, Spain, followed by Mbappe and France versus Ronaldo and Portugal. Coverage begins 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific on Fox. The big results earlier today, the Netherlands getting rid of Romania, Turkey defeats Austria. Munoz with the game tying goal. Late in the first half, we'll take this throw in for Colombia. The flip taken away. Players down, fans want to call. That shot taken is wide. Oh, yes. Why not? Why not? Has a little bit of a bounce. It's in a good position. The deflection. Arias has a little bit of a touch. You gotta take that from there. Possession is dead even at the moment. Almost turned over there. And now it is. Hot mass. Oh, slipped it through the legs. Recovered by Lerma. Rodriguez. Pulling it back. Munoz. Right side, Rios, knocked out, throw in, Colombia. Just past the hour mark in a 1 1 game, a result that would give Colombia first place in Group D. Brazil would finish second if it stays like this. Any kind of draw. Corner, Colombia. I would say this is an area of strength. For Colombia, an area of weakness for Brazil, just as far as the market. All these set pieces, 
Columbia has won the, the headers, and they've had three headers inside the box. Rodriguez drives into the middle. Second ball, still in the box. Headed away by Brazil. Headed right back by Mojica. It falls outside the box. Headed down. Rodriguez. He's still Knocked down. Still belongs to Columbia. Rodriguez coming in. And that just goes to ground off that one. That must be the way to get yourself back or into the match when you're coming off of the bench. Right no battles with Munoz foul of Columbia. These are the two favorites in the group, so no surprise there. Probably the only surprise for me in this group. Brazil struggling in Costa Rica. They have all the shots, but nothing on target but a 0-0 draw in the opening game. Yeah, and when you, when you think about it, when you think of Costa Rica of old, Costa Rica that had this success in the World Cup, they played along that style. Five in the back, dropping in defensively, and then seeing if they could do anything on the counter. They made it extremely difficult for Brazil just to, to be perfect, shut it down. Alisson Kroenen. I thought Brazil would win both games, same with Colombia, setting the table for this, where it was basically a winner take all, depending on goal differential. But here, Brazil has to have a win to finish first. Pereira, it slows down on this run. Tap it out. Rodrigo trying to get to it. Davison Sanchez has had an excellent game for Colombia. He's been dangerous on set pieces. He's been tracking down not only Rodrigo, but Vinicius Jr. at times. And from that center back position, shifting out wide. That's not the easiest job because you've got to cover so much ground. Fourth corner, Brazil. Arena drives into the middle. One hand on it by Vargas. Mojica. Rios, Brazil reclaims it, wide to Pereira. Towards the box, that's a push. Foul on Brazil, and trying to win the ball back. Players slowing down the tempo. Extremely hot and humid in Santa Clara. Yeah, you, you could you could see it where players are kind of sitting on the ground a little bit longer. You're at that 65th minute. That's usually when you see the sun start coming. It's just that natural point. A little tired. Tired, tired legs, tired mind. Vargas goes long. Picked off there. Rios moving into the middle. West up. Well, he just passed on the wing. Back to Mojica. Lerma almost got it through. Knocked away by Pereira. Both teams turning the ball over. Munoz, right side. Hades. Foul. Free kick, Colombia. Brazil's head coach, Storyline Jr., is extremely upset. Right near where that ball took place. I'm not sure why he's so upset because from up here, it looks like it was a foul. Yeah. I think you know with that, That's a foul. without a doubt. Do what Ice comes in pretty strong here. There's a kicking, arms all over. It's a foul. If he wants to say that I'm a stole, it still doesn't negate the fact that there were two hands basically in the back, so you're going to get that call. How good is Hamas though? Dribbling, holding the ball, players are trying to tackle the way. He had a complete surpass across the foul, right? Yeah, he's been excellent on the night. Yeah, Sanchez. He's, he's one of those guys who plays better for his country than his club. He now plays in South Paulo, playing some of the biggest clubs in the world. 
Actually, he played for Louis Valdez. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Into the box, that's headed away. But we've got a ball stayed in play. Brazil trying to move it. Not a lot of space out there. High mass in the middle. That was over a hit. Still, it's kept alive by Munoz. High mass. Held up. Sanchez, Cuesta, Mojica, slowing it down is Colombia, and in so doing, getting the crowd behind him, the whole stadium starting to obey chants. Pena and Munoz are the goal scorers in this 1 1 game. Down the wing. Oh, he got Luis Diaz. Back outside. Somehow he got three, not sure how. Crossed the way. Thomas. Inside. Header safe. What a delivery. Allison had to be right there and be sharp. Focus on the ball. I tell you, the delivery coming from Ramos, it's pinpoint accuracy. This is a fantastic ball into the area, right between two defenders. Doesn't test Allison that much in the end, but look at that. Look at that for Ramos Rodriguez. There's a better left foot in this Copa America tournament. Other than Messi, who would it be? Ball out of play. Throw it. Well, you took over the other wheel. Yeah, that's a... Messi's still going to be the ball. Right? I'm just talking about left foot. Yeah, but Messi's great everywhere. Hopefully he's okay to play. And then on that stage, missed that last game with a bit of an injury. It's not called serious, so... Hopefully we see him in the next game. And it's against Ecuador Thursday on Fox. And even if he doesn't play Kobe, Argentina showed, well, they can't do even without him because of Lanturo like, Martinez is having one hand of a tournament. Lanturo Martinez is saying, hey, this is why I'm here. <laughs> this is why I should be playing all the time. I want that goal to do. He's saying, a hard fought game here to say the least. An extreme heat and humidity in Santa Clara. To be one of the World Cup venues in 2026. Same year they'll host another Super Bowl. It'll be their second. The referee's got to get a hold of this. He's got to, he's got to get the 10 yards. And this is true. You're standing right there. Other players are standing close. And in the box. Oh, it's headed back. Looks like it's going towards goal. And now it's clear. And in the middle, it is settled by the Martinez. Give a nice Johnny Wide. Benny All the way back. This is a tie Kobe. 74 is better for Brazil to think about game changers. They need to win this game if they want to finish it first. And you know they do. Yeah, you, you would think so because at this time, Columbia is going to start thinking, yes, we're going to go for the win, but we are in. You know, they're in first position. They're in pole position, so they're good with this result to move forward in the first spot. So Brazil's going to have to make probably some more offensive substitutions and get some little bit more creativity in there. Off the chest, Brazil up the middle. Give it ice. Vargas off the line, side on a mile away as he clears. Boxing ball back, dangerous. And the flag was up. Potentially dangerous, I should have said. We still have a couple of subs up. It's like 20 and 24. I thought we might see young Edwin again. We still might. Sabio is one of the players. 
That was 24. That's Anderson who was uncapped. If that's the number we're seeing from up here. Coming out of the game as well for Brazil. Both teams have some tired players out there. And maybe that's why some of these fouls as well. Oh, yellow card was just issued. Brazil will have the ball for the Netherlands. Yeah, that was a good ball. 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 It was about time for him to get that warning as once again he just runs over the back of Hummus. He gets cut off here and Hummus does a good job of just stepping in front of him and then it's just running over the top of him and taking him down from behind. Actually, steps and pulls that shoe off. Gomez is coming out. Sabio is coming in and Rodrigo is coming out as well. Uh, Ederson. So Romero didn't get it done. Now it's up to Savio and Ederson, who plays for Alabama uncapped. We can try to change this game. They need to win it to get us first in Group D. Well, when we saw Savio come into the game in that first matchup against Costa Rica, he was a spark player. He changed the whole tone of the game for Brazil. They became much more dangerous, much more fluid in their attack. We'll see what the change here and how that helps. Third substitution for Brazil. Colombia only got to the bench once for Mojica, and that was at halftime. So they didn't even use one of the substitution windows, one of the three. For Brazil, Rafinha has moved to the left wing. Savio goes in on the right wing. Vinny Jr. Kind of playing like the solo striker, but he likes to drift to that left side as well. Costa Rica still leading in that game over Paraguay. Not a lot of time left there. James. Live standings. Colombia will win the group. If this result stands. Take on Panama for the knockout stage, and Brazil will have to take on Uruguay to see some changes for Colombia. Bringing in Uribe and Bore. Players taking advantage of this brief break. Catch their breath. So, those are the two players coming in. Boy is one of the players who scored against the USA in a recent 5 1 front of the game. Cordoba will come out. And we're hearing Rios will be the other. It's going to be Rios. Rios was also on the yellow card from previous, so maybe another reason to take him out so he's not lost for the next game. 76 minutes, one goal apiece for first place in Group B. In this case, as we said, Toby, first place is so important because you want to do anything that you can to avoid playing against Uruguay. You're kind of steering away from Uruguay is extremely important. You know, this point of view, as we talked about, we have so much energy within this match, and then we have to go into the next one and face Uruguay, and then even if you get caught by that, you have another match to go. So all these games, this was with Rods and Herman, these tournament set situations, they add up in so many games in such a short amount of time. There's a Cuesta pass to the outside, Mojica, back for Cuesta. This result is good for Colombia. It gives up the group. Brazil have to win it. Well, they put a second. Rafinha, knocked out. Going for Brazil. Rafinha gives it to Wendell. Not a 
with the Columbia, they're willing to settle back, sit back a little bit and absorb the pressure. In the middle of the park, it's Brazil. Even on the scoreboard, as Rafinha's pass is deflected. Westa's pass, Mojica. Slow down, take it over in the middle. Pretty bad. Munoz. Colombian fans raising the decibel levels. We're told there's over 71,000 here in this home of the San Francisco 49ers. This is just a beautiful ball movement occurring right now from Colombia. Breaking the initial press from Brazil and now just moving the ball from side to side at will. And even though it's broken up, they get the ball back. Westcott, just like the middle. The short passes are working. Now they go on. Boy! The cross, clear, shot, stopped by Addison. Kind of skull who just came off. Had a free one. Looks to be outside as this ball comes over the top. Just that ball, that, that second bounce just kind of pulls away from him. Then just the shot, not enough behind it. Got it, Ted. With Terry Brown, and here's Zilla in front, Sick. Boré could have ended it right there. This has to be the goal. It's a quick turnover, quick counter. The ball is a beautiful ball across the face of the for Diaz, and he's thinking it's going to the back of the net. What I think is going to the back of the net, and you can see right there, he knows. He knows that I have to finish that one. That would have sealed the game. Well, plays in Brazil with Internacional. It's also professional in Germany. Colombia back in the ball. Advantage call there. Adios, four spot. Pressed up. Right up that middle. Straight ahead. And finally, the takedown, no foul is given. Here is Brazil. They rush that to Vinny Jr. He fights to win it back. Wow, there are Sanchez. Vinny Jr. trying to go for a good restart. They're going to be a defending this. They win it. Diaz, terrific job defensively there. That's risky, knocked away, but recovered by Presta. Oh, he got up the wing. He's so tries to win it back. He's knocked out. Last tough fight, Colombia. 86 minute, 1 1. Subs are coming from Brazil. Want to change this up. 18, Kanye Douglas Louise. We've seen him in this tournament before. So he will come out. Wendell will lead. And then Young Andre comes on as well. We've seen Andre in every game. We've had all of Brazil's games in this Copa America tournament. Crowd recognized him. The thrill that is out there. Guimarães was the other player. Sucked out. So they're going for it like they have to. They need to win the game to finish fourth in Group D. This result favors Colombia. Right now they're number one in our live standings. Ball out. So you have Brazil, Kobe, you got about four minutes and some stoppage time to get a goal. And 
it's written to say this, that you have Brazil in a little bit of a desperate situation right now. As you can tell by the substitutions, putting in just a lot of attackers to see if they can find a way to create more chances. Taking two risks. The players like two, possibly three in the back, but pushing the numbers forward, trying to overload in various areas. They got to do a better job of getting. I'm sorry, but they got to get Vinicius Jr. more into this game. He hasn't received it in a good attacking position. Totally different from the other night against Paraguay. When he scored twice, and he was so effective in that game and other aspects. I think Colombia is doing a good job of their back four is spread wide, where Munoz is almost cheating a little bit you know, to where Vinny Jr. is. He's been doing that the whole game. Douglas Luiz drops it back. Long and wide. Rapinha goes inside. Cut off there. That was Munoz. The player you were just talking about. Great recovery run. A fantastic recovery run because he was wide with Vinicius Jr. The ball goes beyond him and he tracks all the way back to give that defensive support. And we have another sum up by the correct official, Sinistera. He's not going to have much of an impact if he does get in. Time running out on Brazil. Thought that was the final, and now it is called. 89th minute. Brazil's hoping for a big number in stop and slide. They may not get it. Luis Diaz is going to be coming out. Sinistera is coming in. I know Diaz didn't score today, but what did you think overall about his performance? Oh, he, he, he was excellent. Just the hard work that he gave on the offensive side, even after the last play where he laid a ball on a platter to Bode where he's got to finish. It's a, look, he, he's always a hard worker. Yeah. And he's going up against his club teammate in goal, Alisson, for Brazil. So Sinistera comes in. Sinistera also had a goal in that 5-1 Columbia win over the USA a short while ago. 90th minute. Douglas Luiz. A deflected ball. Columbia trying to recover it. They've got it. Out wide it comes. They just need to keep it. And that's why they're pushing it back. Oh, he got to the left for that pass. All the way back. Oh, he got Gotta get inside, blocked. Can't live on the yeah. edge here if you're in Columbia. Uh, kill some of the clock. Hendrick. Got plowed over. No call. Risky there. Play by Vargas. Or a tried for it. But a good heads up play once again by Sanchez. Just stepping in front of Vinny Jr. That was bearing down on that pass back. We're in stoppage time. Towards the box. Vargas came out, but he got it. Five minutes out of run in stoppage time. It's not a number, not a great number, but it's time. They got five minutes. A lot of talent on the field, but they're also going up against a lot of talent there in Colombia. And they're going to have to figure out a way to break down this back line. And Colombia's. Brazil can't keep giving the ball away though. They run out of time. And it's about breaking, breaking down the back line of Colombia without giving away too many. What's the best way to do it? Well, look, looking at it, you know, they've committed numbers forward, but they're not getting beyond that first, the first pass. Sabio gets the ball out wide. Two defenders collapse on top of it. No one's running beyond. Everyone's showing short, so no one's breaking that back line of, of Columbia's. Colombia leads in our live standings. Brazil would finish second and have a date with Uruguay. And looks like they get a goal here and win this game. On the move, Colombia, 
crowd back even. Pro Colombian crowd in Santa Clara. But he got drives it across. That's denied by Brazil. But more time is taken off the clock. As that foul is called. Second year stop his side, minimum of five posted. Tony is very willing to just slow walk everything right now. Pascal slipping it through. Oh, we're just trying to keep possession. Back to Costa. Take it away. Vargas back in goal. And Brazil made a mess of that. Not even a shot on target there. But Brazil made a mess of it. Cuesta really made a mess of it, giving it away to Brazil. But he does have an excellent recovery run just to poke that ball away for Vinicius Jr. Because if he's able to get around that, he had some players running in the middle. I believe it was injured. That was ready to put the ball in the back of the net. Vargas clearance upfield. Off the block that's going to go up by the bench area. That side stick it's there. Ball. Fourth minute of stoppage time. Minimum of five was posted. There may be another one added. Columbia is trying to win this group and make it three strong games. Not a win tonight, but it will feel like a win for them if they win it, if they draw it. The draw tonight for them is a win. It gives them force to the group. It is Mojica. Up the middle. Ali settles out. Sets it long. Look at that ball. Flag staying down. It's brought down. Sabio. Into the middle. He was looking for Vinny Jr. And it swung me into the box. Cleared. Not out of danger. Columbia scrambling for the first time tonight defensively. They back pedal. Brazil on the ball. In the box. Hendrick laid it off. Shot taken over the bar. Andreas Pereira could have won the game and the group without a shot. Well, look at this. Pereira's just sitting in the middle. He's wide open, has the shot. But it's Vargas that gets tested here. He just sees that ball a little bit late and just tips it over the top, denying Benetta that goal. One of the last kicks of the game coming up here. Lokini up, sent it low, blocked, and cleared out. Allison thinking about coming farther upfield. He's staying closer to the circle on this throw in from Brazil and Rafinha. into the box, handled, and then headed away again, out by Columbia. He went right with five minutes, basically. He's calling it. Brazil's coach, Guaymar Jr., is upset because he thought they would let him play in the corner, but that's it. Columbia, Kobe, first place did what they needed to do. A fantastic performance by Colombia going down the goal, but finding a way to come back. Various players on this Colombia side stepped up, putting Colombia into that top spot. Now Brazil have to face Uruguay. What a game this was, Rob Stone. All the goals coming in the first half and many of the yellow cards and fouls, but at the end of the day, we now have the answer to the question posed.